behind me. This is the uh, checkpoint to, to get into the United States. It's very quiet this morning here at the Ambassador Bridge. And these uh, protests have been going on now for, for four days uh, over on the Canadian side. But no traffic is allowed to go over into Canada because of those protests. These protests that started in Ottawa now have spread throughout the country. The mayor of Windsor, Ontario, saying they are working for a peaceful resolution. Is you have people who are willing to die for this cause, and they've stated the same. Uh, and so we don't want anyone to get hurt. We're trying to find a sensible and reasonable way through this. And what we don't want is to flush out 150 protesters only to have 300 show up uh, two days from now. The White House saying they're watching the situation closely. It's important for everyone in Canada and the United States to understand what the impact of this blockage is, uh, potential impact on, uh, on workers, on the supply chain. Freedom Convoy in Windsor has been led by people mostly in pickup trucks, 50 to 74 cars and trucks blocking the road, protesting the country's COVID-19 mandates, calling for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's removal and most of the restrictive measures like proof of vaccination passports to enter restaurants, gyms, movie theaters and sporting events. Protesters not budging until action is taken on those restrictive measures. Police are doing all that they can to de-escalate and find a solution uh, that allows the demonstration to happen. We live in a, in a democracy. Protests are part of that democracy, but so is free and efficient trade. And so far, these protests have been peaceful over in Canada. And we'll bring you the very latest from the Ambassador Bridge in Southwest Detroit. And Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah, they've been peaceful, but they have been a major headache and having a real economic impact. Thank you so much, Peter.